Hey, what is up guys? Triple G Beast here. Hope you all having a wonderful day so far. So I've been getting a lot of messages on Twitter, Facebook, pretty much everywhere. People have been asking me to show off my gaming setup because I've been posting some pictures of my gaming setup on uh, Twitter and things like that. And I wanted to hold off on doing that for a while because there were certain things that I was trying to order and get set up before I made a video like this. There's still some more things that I'm going to be making some changes to and adding some more things, but right now pretty much most of my setup is done, so I figured, yeah, I'd like to go ahead and show it to you all so people can finally stop asking me, hey, let's see your setup, let's see your setup. Which I think the last time I did a gaming setup was like years and years ago and it's nowhere near as good as my current setup and I've been really wanting to show it off but I wanted to wait till just the right day so it may not be the perfect day but I think it's still a pretty good day to show it off so. Second thing real quick is I want to sincerely apologize to you guys for the serious lack in videos lately. I have been swamped. I've been crazy busy these last few months and unfortunately that is going to continue for a while longer uh, but not just with my personal life but also because I've been working a lot of stuff for a uh, zombie attack revelations between writing scripts filming stuff editing uh, getting new voice actors it's a lot of hard work so pretty much all my free time is devoted to working on ZAR stuff so that's Kind of why there's been a lack in videos, but this one should be pretty easy to make. So I wanted to quickly get this made to kind of showcase what my setup is, and you guys can kind of get an idea of where all the magic happens. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. And uh, we apparently have a uh, new guest. So hi, Jax. What you doing, boy? What you doing? Hey, boy. Yeah, I, I tried to keep him outside of this room for this video, but he just kept whining, so we'll just go ahead and uh, leave him in here. He's kind of camera shy, so be nice. Hey, Jax, boy. Hey, boy. Okay, <laughs> let's get going. So this is where I just was. This is how you get into the room. Um, here's some posters. Minecraft, Force Awakens, Grand Theft Auto V. Over here, we got some Trinity War, and then Marvel right up there. Marvel Comics, it's pretty much all the characters and then these aren't all the characters from the uh, DC universe but there's quite a few of them and Train to War is my favorite saga in DC so and I do have more Force Awakens posters and I know some lot of people are gonna be like oh Disney Star Wars sucks so then the I do kind of agree but when Force Awakens first came out I did enjoy it I uh, hated The Last Jedi, but I did enjoy Force Awakens, so right after that movie came out, I got some posters for the movie, and while, you know, the new movies may not be that good, in my opinion, I still really dig these posters, because they look badass, and I also really like Star Wars, so, yeah. So, coming back over to this wall, I got even more posters. We have, uh, this is the map from The Witcher 3, and that is from, this is like the new Spartan armor layout, so I believe this is from the... Uh, collector's edition from Halo 5 that comes with it so it's really cool it gives you like detailed stuff on uh, CIO, Scouts, EODs, Orbital Pathfinder you know all that good stuff it's kind of fun to read so I like it and then we have uh, Legend of Zelda picture frame here this is actually my girlfriend's but I think it looks really nice and of course we have uh, the the boy, the, the Fallout boy, as some guys call him, this is from uh, Fallout 4. The map of Skyrim, and then uh, this is the map from uh, Phantom Pain of just the uh, Afghanistan region. I believe the Africa region is on the back of it, but that came with uh, my uh, physical version of Phantom Pain. Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, some people didn't like that game, some people did. I enjoyed it, but most of all, I really like this poster. You know, it, this is kind of like the trinity of assassins, because you have Altair, you have Ezio, and Desmond. So I do like this trio, this poster looks really cool. And if we stop over here, I got some uh, blackout curtains from my window. These things work super well. I mean, I could have the whole lights off. In fact, let me actually show you guys. So when I turn the light off, I mean, it gets so fucking dark in here, it's it's not even funny. It's basically like, this really is like a cave. <laughs> but I love that. 
Over here we have uh, another Force Awakens poster, Kylo Ren. Uh, I got this poster from attending uh, Bruce Retief's Let's Play Live. Love this poster to death. I also got this from Let's Play Live for uh, Red vs. Blue. This is one of my favorite posters ever. This has some amazing quotes on it. Um, so up here we have Simon sucking up, shut up caboose, bow to go wow well, cock bite, shotgun, suck it, dirtbag, son of a bitch, donut, and trees, all this stuff, so. Deadpool, because Deadpool is one of my most favorite superheroes of all time. Uh, this doohickey here, the reason why I have this blanket covered up is actually because this whole thing right here is actually a closet, and the closet door is a mirror. And whenever I'm like playing a game, like on my TV or on my computer, the reflection of the screens comes off of the mirror, and I didn't have anything big enough to cover the entire thing, so I kind of have to use this ugly blanket. Again, this is all in progress. This is temporary. Uh, I could use like acoustic foams or something, but the problem is because the doors slide this way, I would have to get something that's thin enough, but also blocks off any other uh, monitors from reflecting off of it. I tried to cover it up with some posters, but that didn't work out too well either, mainly because, you know, you have to have like the perfect size for the poster. In terms of the size of these doors, they wouldn't be able to cover them off properly and some of them would be cut off, so. This is all temporary, I'll probably uh, replace this thing, but yeah, it pretty much prevents uh, glaring and other types of issues from showing up on there, which can be annoying. All right, so back from the entrance, over here, a lot of this stuff is uh, my girlfriend's, but the printer, this isn't really a file, well it is a file cabinet, but it doesn't have files in it. You know, just cords and shit for things that I might need, and then this is for my Nintendo 64 games. Yeah, retro stuff. And on to the main event. This is my uh, PC setup, so a couple reasons why I've been holding off on doing a uh, new gaming setup video is been trying to get a second monitor, which I finally got, which is that one. I don't know why I touched this. That second monitor. Uh, and then this desk, because before, that used to be uh, my old desk. And as you can see, it's not very wide at all. There's not a whole lot of legroom either. So I got this uh, new gaming desk. So this is a Eureka Premium Gaming Table. And I really like it because it's super wide. Uh, the material, this is carbon fiber and uh, works well. It fits two monitors and it fits my PC and I have more room as well on the side. Kind of ignore all this clung. This, these are my uh, old headphones. Uh, some of these cords are just kind of running down in there and then this is actually controls the lights underneath my desk which is really badass. Let me show you. So if you turn the lights off and then change around some settings here. Orange, red, purple, but I usually just keep it on the rainbow setting and it has different like flashing patterns. I'm just gonna pick the the rainbow one. I'm trying to keep a rainbow theme going because I like my colors. Something else really cool about this desk is that on each side of the table you have these RGB lights on each side. You can actually adjust how these flash too and you can change the color on them as well and stuff. So like here's this side. Oh, if I press this little button it'll change the color scheme but again I usually just keep it on the multiple different colors and stuff because you know trying to keep a consistent theme throughout all right moving over to my setup itself um, so firstly we have the Blue Yeti microphone one of the best microphones in the market in my opinion the audio quality is top-notch this is a Gigantix Blue gaming racing chair it's actually very comfortable and it really hugs you in, which is nice. Got a Corsair RGB keyboard, Corsair RGB mouse, has a uh, sniper button on the side, that thing actually comes in really handy. Dragon Ball Z coaster, because of course, uh, I keep my two controllers up here depending on what game I want to play. I know some PC Master Race people will think that it's just outright sinful to use a controller, but in my opinion, there are some games that work way better with the mouse and keyboard. Other games are way better than with the controller. Uh, me personally, I prefer playing FPS games with the mouse and controller. Uh, other games like uh, Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, I prefer a controller just because 
open world games, you know, at least in my opinion, they just feel better playing on a controller. But again, just personal preference. I have some other stuff here, you know, like head buds, um, hard drive over there, Steel Series Arctis Pro headphones with uh, RGB lighting, Corsair premium headset stand with RGB lighting. This is my uh, game chat mixer little dial right here. This charges my watch. That charges my phone. And here we have the MSI 2K monitor. It's uh, 144 hertz and it's curved. I don't know if you can tell that. It's actually the first time I've ever used a curved monitor and I don't know if I can go back after having it because it really engrosses you in the game and it kind of just breaks out the colors a lot better. And this is a huge upgrade for my last monitor, so I absolutely love this thing. This is the HP 25F display. It goes at the 1080 and I believe it's like 120 hertz, something like that. Um, I use that to, you know, look at chat, look at uh, Xbox, current friends online, things like that. And overall, just other like programs I'll be using. So I might be reading something here and then Audacity will be on that side. I don't know. I really like having a dual monitor set up. Some people prefer having an ultra wide monitor and I'm not against that personally, but just for me, I like seeing, you know, multiple different angles so I can kind of look to each side and have multiple different applications running is, you know, in my opinion, that can be pretty handy. Some people just prefer one giant screen and that's all I care about. But just for me personally, I prefer the dual monitor setup, at least for the stuff I do, it's very beneficial. Also got a Eureka foot stand there because, you know, when you're playing games for long periods of times, sometimes your feet can get kind of achy or your legs can and that makes things uh, way more bearable and it's actually pretty damn comfortable. I mean, I could use this setup right here for hours upon hours without even feeling any aches, so I really like this thing. And here's my PC itself. I might get a new case, but so far I really like it. Gets the job done. Has a uh, five Corsair RGB fans. It's running a MSI X70 motherboard with a Ryzen 7 2700X CPU. Got a Corsair 240mm liquid cooler with RGB lighting. Got a GTX 1080 Ti for the graphics card. It's hard to see the Ti. Oh, there we go. Ti. It's running 32 gigs of RAM. Each one of those RAM sticks is a 8 gigabyte Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. I have one Samsung 5 terabyte hard drive and another Samsung three terabyte hard drive, so eight terabytes total, and I have one uh, 250 gigabyte SSD, which is running the uh, Windows operating system, makes it boot up so much faster, it's not even funny. And I have the Corsair 850 watt RGB power supply. So that is my beast machine, as I call it. Absolutely love it, probably will get a new case, like I said, um, sometime in the near future, but so far, I really like it. I mean, it gets the job done, and it's a enormous upgrade from my last computer. I mean, I can throw pretty much any game I want at this thing, and it'll run it, no problem. Moving over here, I still have my Grand Theft Auto V Collector's Edition box, because this thing is huge, and I uh, keep cords and other stuff like that in there. Here's uh, some list of my games I have on this gaming stand that I have. Of course, a lot more are just downloaded digitally, so this is definitely not all of them. And then some miscellaneous stuff to the right of my computer. This is a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro stick and I really like this because it's actually compatible with certain uh, games like the Microsoft Flight Simulator and I just started using it recently and it works pretty damn well. VR headset that just contains some cores. I have a ninja sword over there because of course I do. Tripod and then some rechargeable battery packs in case I need to swap them out in a controller or headset or whatever. Vape, because of course I vape. Star Wars Saber, which I keep it here because this actually keeps the blind against the wall instead of having to like use a pin or something to hold it in. This holds the blind down, so that's why it's there. These are uh, Turtle Beach's X12 headset. I use these for gaming on my uh, Xbox, and this is how I talk to people as well. Behind the TV, uh, this is the Hop Hog HD PVR2 Gaming Plus, I believe that's the name of it, uh, capture card. And I have another uh, HDMI cord right there, so if I want to swap between the Xbox One and PS4, I just have to swap out the cords and good to go. It's plugged directly into my computer, so if I ever want to record something, I just open up the uh, software application, hit record, it's good to go. And here we have my uh, console setup. 
so to start off with we have this TV which is a uh, Vizio 4K TV and I believe it's a 60 inch, it's either 60 or a 62, it's one of those. Got some controllers hanging about, this is a Sony Blu-ray player which I mainly use this to watch my Blu-ray movies because the quality on this thing is crazy good. It's actually way better than the uh, quality on the Xbox One and PS4 for some reason, but whenever I play Blu-ray discs, I watch them on this thing because the quality on this out of the rest of them just blows them out of the water. The color is way better, the refresh rate is also a lot better, it's able to output it in a more sustainable way, so whenever I watch movies on Blu-rays, that's my go-to number one right there. Connects, although I don't even think I've used this in like eight months or something, probably longer. Ever since I had my uh, gaming PC, I don't think I've ever used the Kinect for anything. And I keep it turned off because, you know, I don't want Microsoft spying on me. So PS4 with a uh, chargeable dock for PS4 controllers. And this is a uh, small little adapter if I want to use a different headset or different uh, chat microphone. I use this keyboard to message people because I hate having to use a controller to try to type, you know, one button at a time, you know, just to send one message, it can be a pain in the ass. So I use this just to quickly send messages if I'm sending someone an email on my computer. Xbox One, and I have a shit ton of games, that's why I have these external hard drives here. And then here are some of my movies and shows. This is not all of them because most of the ones I have are digitally downloaded and this actually comes with uh, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, all that good stuff and you can watch movies, pretty much any movie digitally now so most of the movies I watch are off of this thing. So this is a uh, Logitech speaker for my computers which controls the volume. Got another one right there. This is actually set up to my computer and what this does is this actually acts as a third monitor so if I want to watch a movie that I have downloaded to my computer or something, I can just drag it over here and watch it there. And the speakers come out of there. It's very useful. I have another fan here because it gets ridiculously hot where I live, although I don't really even need to use this much, so before people start freaking out in the comments, your electricity bill is going to be insanely high. Why do you have so many fucking fans? What's wrong with you? Calm down, I hardly ever use this thing, if ever, I just didn't know where else to put it, so. And I wanted to hide some of the cords back there as well. Legend of Zelda, Cross Swords of the Shield. I wanted to mount this thing, but, like, the back of it's really weird, so I would have to, like, nail it to something, or nail something on the wall, and I don't want to do that, I don't want to damage any of the walls, so. Don't know where to put this, so this is another temporary thing, but I do like this. I forgot why I've had this. I've had this for years, but... I don't know, I need to set it up at some point. These are the Wireless Turtle Beaches PX5s, and I do not recommend getting these because they only work when they feel like it. That's probably because these things are like five, six years old, something like that, so they probably had some uh, wear and tear by then, but if you're getting them new, I still wouldn't recommend getting them just because they're only powered by batteries, and unless you have a ton of batteries that you can recharge laying around like I do, they drain them pretty quick, so. And relax everybody, this is a fake gun, so don't be freaking out. Of course, there's the orange tip at the top. Sometimes I'll use this just for BB shooting and stuff like that, it's pretty fun. And this computer is actually one of my really old computers, like really old that I don't use anymore. I think this thing was built back in like... 2013 or something like that. Mainly I just let my girlfriend use that, but even she doesn't use this all that much. I mainly use this area to play uh, N64 games. We got uh, Ocarina of Time going on there. And then to sit comfortably when I am playing a console game, I have this little area. So this actually controls. I have an adapter on my PC which will allow me to use my keyboard when sitting all the way over here. That way if I once you adjust the volume on something or change anything else at all or even play a PC game wirelessly, that's what I would use. This plugs into my headset for Xbox chat and PS4 chat. Another Dragon Ball Z coaster because of course. And last but not least, a super comfortable Star Wars pillow. And that's Def Trooper. So I'll give you guys one last look at uh, the whole place. Just give you a quick summary of it. And yeah. I mean, I I really like it, I gotta say. I mean, it's, if you guys have seen my last gaming setup video, this is leagues better ahead. I mean, there's, there's no even comparison. And uh, I really like it. You know, I got some really badass equipment that uh, makes my games look really nice. And just something about coming in here and seeing all this stuff as you walk in through the door. I mean, even if I'm having like a really crappy day, just 
something about seeing all this just makes me really happy. <laughs> it's kind of a place where you can come in and just seal yourself off from the rest of the world. You don't have to worry about any of the outside world problems or anything. This really is a, really is a gaming cave, if you will. Or as my girlfriend calls it, she basically calls this the uh, gaming spaceship because I have so much like electronics in here. I've seen people in a lot of their other gaming setup videos that have like pop figures and action figures and amiibos and stuff laying around. And while that would look cool for me to set up, I feel like that would kind of be a pain in the ass at the same time because you would have to constantly dust them off. I'm not a huge fan of having to constantly dust things. So even though I do have a lot of stuff laying around, I only have to dust off certain things and adding more like pop figures and action figures and other stuff that's just kind of sitting around will require a lot more dusting and take up way too much time to do. So rather than deal with all that headache, I don't really have a lot of, you know, collectibles sitting around. I have the essentials, which I mean, that's all you need. But all right guys, that is my gaming setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to leave a like and uh, leave a comment down below in the comments letting me know what you think. And as always, be sure to subscribe. Peace.